and welcome back to the shit behind the show for another episode this this week has been a little bit down and dark so hopefully we can turn it around and hopefully I can help some of you uh, please please reach out if you've gotten something from this show from this week especially please let me know I love the feedback I love hearing from all of you and it makes my heart happy to to know that I've got a support system out there and I want you all to know that you have a support system with me as well this is something that's really hard for me to talk about as I assume all of you that have been through depression can relate and know and understand so uh, the last couple episodes I have been discussing ways that you can combat and fight depression and get back to feeling normal again and happy so I read an article I love to I my social media is just filled with therapists and and life coaches and relationship coaches and you can imagine my algorithm and I love listening to angry therapist uh, if you haven't listened to him or read his books go check him out John Kim the angry th therapist he's amazing and I read something that he wrote once regarding depression and he said uh, take off your bowling shoes so he said that he was having coffee with a friend and the friend said you know you and they were talking about some of the stuff in life that's really hard and he was saying the advice that he got from his friend was because he he was experiencing some anxiety which anxiety does cause depression and he was like don't own it it's not yours to own and I love that so much I love the advice because John Kim went on to say he was absolutely right you these experiences that are brought to us and put in front of us are only temporary and only for us to borrow they're just little moments in life that teach us lessons. And once you get through them, you're like, damn, I learned a lot there. And and the lesson is in the journey. The lesson isn't in, oh, it started this way and it ended this way. The lesson is in the middle of what you experienced while you were going through all of this. And I will say that my journey and going through all of the things that caused my depression and even the depression itself have been so huge in my life to help create who I am on the inside and out. I have the softest, kindest heart and deepest empathy for people. That can be detrimental, but it can be very good as well. I think of myself as a kind person. Would I be that person if I hadn't been through all of this? Most likely not. I probably would be shallow. So it's important to just think about it as like, and he used like, you're borrowing bowling shoes. You know, think of it as I'm just borrowing this right now. This is not what defines me. This is just a moment in my life. It is only temporary. This is not who I am. This is not my relationship. This is a relationship with self. This is just a moment or a thing in life that's going to shape and create the most amazing human that I am here to be. And if you look at it that way, as almost like a challenge to get through, it can be fun, kind of, once you seek the help and get back on your feet. So again, look at it as, I don't own this anxiety. I don't own this situation that I'm in right now. It's just temporary and I'm borrowing it and I'm going to give it back to the universe pretty quick here. Think of it that way. Also, set some really firm non-negotiables. A lot of the reason, and I discuss this in, in this week's past episodes, for depression is, like me, it wasn't inflicted by something I had done. It was inflicted by something that someone else had done and said to me. Now, these days, this Christine, post all of this shit and mess, has set clear boundaries and I have non-negotiables. There are certain things that people cannot do or say to me, I will not put up with it. I will not treat them the same either. I will not. There are certain things I've set with myself. I don't raise my voice. I don't call names. 
I am not going to belittle anyone. I do not think I'm a better human or better looking or anything than anyone else. I have zero right to put anyone down or make them feel less than as a human. And same goes for them. I will not put up with any of those things. I won't put up with a man cheating again like I had in the past. I will not put up with uh, a man being physically or verbally abusive in any way, shape, or form. I will not put up with even strangers. Oh my God, I go live on TikTok and I cannot believe the way people treat people. I get the most horrendous comments, not DMs, but just comments when I go live that I'm like, it's a good thing I like who I am because y'all are mean. You're mean. Like I've been called some terrible names. I've had guys say some really bad stuff. I have been told that I need to go on a diet and take a certain medication to lose weight. Like it is bad and I'm not a big person, but I realized they were just trying to hurt me. And so it's important that you set that boundary with strangers and with people that are close to you, especially in a romantic relationship. Uh, for me, that's where the majority of my shit in life has come from is, well, men, romantic relationships. And so it is very, very crucial that you set boundaries, that you have those non-negotiables, that you do not put up with it, that you put yourself first and you also have to treat people the same and respect their non-negotiables. I want you to say, I will always be heard. I will always create a safe space for myself and for others. And I won't put up, oh, I am that person also on TikTok or any social media. TikTok's just the worst. But I am that person that if I see someone's being bullied, I'm like, oh, hold up. Hold up. And I will stick up for them big time because mm -mm, not okay. None of us are better humans than the others. However, a lot of us could act better. So make sure you set those clear boundaries and the non-negotiables and stick with them, both with yourself and with others. This one, live inside out. This is a hard lesson in life. Uh, I discussed, you know, it's hard when... Oh, sorry, I'm dropping things. It's hard in life when our situations change, especially when it's relationship or career. Uh, money is hard. Hello. It's our livelihood, right? And when, especially when you experience all of these things at once. Uh, last year, I went through a breakup. I was completely heartbroken. I was going through some health issues. I was told I possibly had cancer. And so I had to have surgery. I also was laid off of my job all at once, all at once. So every aspect of my life just fell to shit. And I remember I had to learn to humble myself because I was so fixated on, I don't have a partner. Now health is a little different, right? You know, uh, that's something that we, we need to focus on first and foremost, but I don't have a partner. I'm no longer making the money I was making. And I felt like garbage. I felt like, no, I didn't get super depressed. I had my moments, but I felt like who would want you anyway? Why? Because I was living from the outside in. I was relating my worth to money, relationships, career status, instead of, but who am I as a person? And I had to really dive deep into who I really am. And it, it was a friend of mine who kind of helped me through that. Um, he came to visit me and I was just a mess. And he was like, whoa, hold up. Do you even know what you do for people? Like, do you even get it that? You are helping so many people by sharing your stories and expressing yourself. Do you even know how kind you are and what a great mother and friend you are? Like your kids absolutely adore you. And who cares about money and status? You know, and he, he was like, you're going to get through the health stuff. You're going to be fine. You're a fighter. 
Like, you kick ass. What are you doing? I mean, he basically, like, just sat me down and was like, no, 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 you're not going to do this. You're not going to sit here and loathe when you've got so much to be grateful for. And it's not outside of you. It's what's inside. And he's like, do you even know that you are such a great person for all the shit that you've made it through? Do you even understand that a lot of people couldn't have made it through the stuff that you have been through and come out the other side just shining? He's like, you got this. You're going to be just fine. And I had to snap out of it. It was like, you're right. I needed this lesson that all of this outside doesn't mean shit. At the end of the day, we enter this earth with this person and we leave this earth only with this person. Okay? The, the fancy cars and big houses and all of the status and friends doesn't go with us and doesn't define who we are. So make sure you are looking within and you're really, really finding all of those great points about yourself because they're there. And, and again, you are redefining who you are as a person to yourself. I want you to sit yourself down as if you're a friend, look in the mirror if you have to and say, I love all of these things about you. And look at all the stuff that you've made it through up until today. You fucking got this. And I'm telling you, it always, always works out better than it began. Always. The story always ends beautifully. And you're going to get there. You will get there. But again, make sure you're looking from the inside out, not the outside in. Because it's not all these outside things that make us happy truly. It's what's inside, how we feel about ourselves and others, and how we treat others and ourselves. So that is another way to help you combat this. Um, expand your bright spots. I'm so proud of myself. I'm, I've done A, B, C, and D. And look at how I've shined. And look what the accomplishments I've made in life. Good hell, being a mother is so awesome and so amazing. And that should be a huge accomplishment. Being a father, the protector, the provider, hell yes, accomplishment. The career, yes, accomplishment. But it's not the money in the career. It's how did you get there? How did you get there? Did you put yourself through college? Did you do the hard things and push yourself? Even getting out of bed some days is hard and, and just surviving, right? And embrace those little things. Embrace the little things because they will help you see the big things that it's guiding you to. Each and every brick is one step to building an entire empire of amazing human and who you are. And along with all of this, and this is the last one for today, share your story. Because I'm telling you, I know from experience, there are so many who live in this and don't share it and, and don't express it because it is hard being vulnerable. It's so hard saying the hard things that you've been through and expressing like, yeah, I'm, I'm a freaking mess right now. It is difficult. So, so many just keep it in, share your story. And the more you share your story, you will see that so many people are coming out of the woodwork and can relate and are sharing theirs. And it doesn't feel so alone anymore. And you feel like I am human. I am worth it. I am human. Everybody has their shit. And this is just my moment. This is my moment to get through the shit so I can shine. And I promise you that will help you tremendously to share, share, share. You don't have to tell the world and please don't get on Facebook. Dear Facebook, poor pitiful me, blah, 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 blah. Please help. No, but your friends and family, I want you to share like, yeah, I went through this thing and I made it through, but damn, it was hard. And this is how I made it through. And, and make sure you're paying attention to those around you. You know, I've said this before and, and we'll always say this, the kindest, littlest gestures come from strangers and can make your day. Reach out. If you see someone, especially women, we love to be told that we're pretty and cute. We're, our clothes are cute. But so many times I reached out to the universe and just said, I need something today. And I've gone to get my coffee or I've gone out in public and I've had someone say, I love your smile or you look really pretty or I love your shoes or I love your outfit. And I feel seen and it makes me feel good. Be one of those people. Really help those strangers feel seen. Even just a small smile. I try to smile at people in the grocery store. I hate grocery shopping. 
I hate it. I loathe it. <laughs> but I try to smile at those. I try to have grace for strangers. I know I am the worst when it comes to driving. I get road rage slightly. Uh, and I'm just like so impatient. But there are so many times that people get road ragey with me and I just smile and laugh and I'm like, ah, oh, you look like a dork right now. And that just kind of helps me. Like, hopefully they are like looking in the mirror like, oh, yeah, she, I'll laugh with her. But make sure you do share, share, share. And the more you share and the more people are coming to you saying, hey, I can relate, the more it will help you feel like you're not alone in this. You're not on an island. You are human and you got this. You got this. Thank you. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you all have the most amazing day. And until next time, bye. Love you all.